Well, if your office is anything like ours today, there are loads of kids running around for Take Your Child to Work Day. But instead of letting kids stare over our shoulders all day, is there more we should be doing to help guide them down a more prosperous path? Our next guest certainly thinks so. Joining me now is Diana Furchgott Roth, Market Watch columnist and former chief economist at the Department of Labor. Diana, thanks for being here. Great to be with you today. So you don't seem to be a huge fan of Take Your Child to Work Day. Why is that? I think it just provides a very narrow window. I agree that if nothing better can be done, uh, then that's fine to get one shot of a day so people can have an ambition as Take Our Daughters and Sons to Work Day Foundation President Carolyn McKeon said above being a working in McDonald's or being a nurse. So there are some people who just aren't exposed to different kinds of careers. For them, Take Our Daughters and Sons to Work Day is a good idea. But even better would be if schools had more vocational training so children could see the ideas of different careers uh, all year long. And I would say starting in 11th grade, 12th grade, and President Obama has just allocated $100 million in grants for vocational training in schools and partnerships with companies. Now, I feel like if you look at over the last 10 years, we've really seen a lot of schools move away from guiding students into these vocational paths. How do you strike that balance between figuring out which kids should be headed on the college track and which should be eyeing vocational programs? Well, I think we need to give students and their parents just a choice. Right now, we have a graduation rate on average of about 75 or 80 percent in high school, 50 percent in some urban areas. We seem to be happy to let children drop out, but we're not happy to introduce them to different paths of learning. And I think that's a mistake. So we really need to excite them about learning. And for some kids, Working with a spreadsheet is a lot more interesting if they're keeping track of bicycle parts or auto repair parts or plumbing equipment. So we need to be integrating that for some kids into the school life. There's also situations where companies have partnerships with high schools so they can actually show them uh, what it's like to be at a particular company. They can provide training. They can suggest community college courses afterwards to follow up. Not everyone needs to go to a four-year college. Diana, I was looking at a study earlier today. It said 48% of employed college graduates actually work in jobs that don't require a four-year degree. What does that mean for kids who end up going to vocational schools? Are they just going to get pushed further down the ladder? Oh, not at all. It means that they graduate in two years at a fraction of the cost uh, of a four-year degree, and they can enter directly into some technical field. Welding, for example, is now paying $150,000 a year for some jobs in Ohio. And to train as a welder, you don't need a four-year degree. So these kids who get a four-year degree, oftentimes going into debt, college debt is an average of $23,000 per student, and then they find they can't get a job when they leave. That is a real tragedy. But if that same student had gone to a community college, looked for a high-return profession, such as in the healthcare services, computer software, welding, uh, electrical services, that person could graduate debt-free and have a job waiting for him or her uh, when they graduate. Diana, really quickly, last question. I have to know, do you think that we could be producing too many college graduates at this point? I do think that we are producing too many college graduates and not enough graduates in the skilled trades. We have about 600,000 unfilled vacancies in manufacturing in the skilled trades. We need to be telling kids, look, you don't have to go to a four-year college to get a good job. You can go to a two-year community college, graduate debt-free, and have a manufacturing job waiting for you afterwards that can be paying in the six figures in a few years. That's the message we need to communicate. All right, really interesting perspective. Diana, thanks very much for joining us. Thanks very much for having me on.